Sexuality, friendship and learning. The following app is at least to flirting without actually going to bed. It is a question of sexuality connected to liking or admiring someone, to a positive kind of social relationship. Consequently, it works also in any friendly kind of natural social relationship with a relaxed atmosphere. The more you admire and like the other one, the more you will learn. Different men like different kinds of women since different needs cause different likings. The roles of things in life and in our picture of the world vary according to what we are ourselves are like, what our strengths, weaknesses, role and situation of life are, and according to what our power relationships do in each thing compared to each one of, one of all the other persons, what is our effect to the whole, in which respect are we, our life based on each thing, and so on. Different individuals have different identities and different things are beneficial to the different individuals. They have different abilities and a different environment. Consequently, different things are needed for development and because of these different things make sense to the individual. In addition, there are different likings that are caused by personal characteristics one's ability to notice things, needs, things that are lacking and meeting those needs, one's sense of health, one's habits, and which things bring meaningfulness to one's life. So different men like different women. Sexuality and the wish to copy good ways of doing things. Men think that women look charming because of sex, but they are mistaken. Women look attractive because they are more intelligent than men, use better ways of doing things. Sexual attraction is at least partly a question of a natural way of learning. There is a resemblance between the bravos of men and the ordinary ways of doing of women. So men have a lot to learn from women. Sex brings lots of influence from the other person's way to live and to do things and so gives one the possibility to learn new ways of doing things by copying from the model. Socialization says, uh, serves as a natural helping aid in learning. Sexual attraction is the greater the better the other one is at something that one wants or needs to learn about the art of living, health, naturality, balance good healthy ways of doing things, a unified whole, the wish to develop to a healthy direction that is positive for a happy life. The way to learn from sex. So as one is sexual, one should pay attention to the influence that one gets about the other person's ways of moving and ways to do things and try via them understand like it's natural for humans and animals the mode, which means eyes, hearing, thinking, memory, body coordination, emotions, atmospheres, social things, etc. and the way of doing. We are learning the balances of divisions of attention and effort one can learn the ways of doing of the other person and so her or his talents and skills. By making a combination of these two ways to live one's own and that of the other person, by using the unified understanding of both, one can combine the good sides of both and leave those bad sides away for which the other one has ranks to replace them with. If there's something which is of no use but still interests you, check whether it can enrich in other areas of life, for example by giving sense models to thinking so that there's a point in a, to an interest in it anyway. Feelings and atmospheres are valuable. Sex my book about them. Also, a human being is basically a physical being, all the actions being intertwined around the physical body. So keeping the body fit and well-functioning gives the whole human fit, balanced, healthy, happy and well-functioning. We are also social beings, pack animals. What our social environment is like and how the pack works affects enormously our lives. Our whole environment consists of humans, of the human pack, so it really makes sense to pay lots of attention to social things too. But on the other hand, we need also planning, hard rationality in order to get things work well. 
So there's a point to most seemingly irrational interest in the good sides of others. Those which do not make sense are a consequence of a thought error. But remember that the needs of people differ. What one has a lot, one doesn't necessarily need from the other one. So someone can be a person who would be totally unsuitable to another one. And a person with other skills than yourself can benefit from other good sides of others than what you yourself are capable of. Like for example, whether one has learned this way of learning from sex or not, that can make an enormous difference to one's learning ability. One should just remember that the more skills one has, the more one can influence things, and the more important it is to be responsible and moral. To think of the consequences of one's actions, to carry responsibility about them. Learning makes the enjoyment permanent. Learning doesn't remove the enjoyment from sex. By learning you get permanent a good feeling. It comes partly from the feeling of strength and ease of the other one, and partly from a well-functioning social relationship. That is one thing to learn too, so that the good feeling too will become a permanent enjoyment in your life. Developing skills. If we pay attention to different sides of things, we get a different perspective to the world, where different things get emphasized in perception as a base of practical action, knowledge, and as goals. Our understanding of the world, of causes and consequences, and of the importance of things in life creates this emphasis together with our mode of action, which means spreading of attention how our different functions get emphasized in living and doing. Our habits and skills which determine which ones are the easiest and most successful roads to our goals and getting socialized to about the perspectives, modes, values and ways of doing of other person. Being talented in something, something means that one is on the right kind of mode for that kind of things to succeed but pays natural attention to the right things, the essential, the pointing things in right way. One can learn by copying from other one, by emphasizing, taking the other person as a model for oneself, noticing the essential and putting things into practice in a way that takes into account the differences in personal strengths, so the base for action is a little bit different for each person. And doing things based on one's own rhythm, understanding and true motivational ground, which means emotions that are not based on social position, technical things, or theory-based knowledge. Balance the whole. Do things in healthy ways that take the whole into account. All healthy human beings have the same natural functional parts which join together for form the whole. Different persons have different strengths. One can emphasize the function differently and get holes that are balanced differently. One can learn from others new balances. The most healthy balance is the goal. If one loves or really admires someone, sexual contact with her or him is a question of likings. So it's a question of what one needs since likings tell of needs. Fulfilling those needs makes one stronger.